Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you a nice workaround and a nice solution if SAP users shouldn't have access on authorization to the critical transaction codes SM30, so the maintenance view, and the data browser, so SE16, to display SAP table contents. Let's start with the SM30. Here right now, for example, if we enter the SM30, I have obviously transaction uh, access to the SM30 transaction code. Here we have one demo table set ERP underscore up to uh, basically open up the maintenance view and here you can enter your entries, your recalls and basically a lot of SAP customizing transactions and nodes work like this. So in the background there, if you customize SAP, then basically you enter um, table entries in the maintenance view, but you open, you don't open up the SM30 directly. You skip the initial screen and directly end up in here. And of course, you can authorize the SM30 to the SAP users to guarantee that they can customize the SAP systems. But um, there are really good reasons that you shouldn't do this, that you should restrict the SM30 transaction to administrators and users who yeah, do a lot of work with the SM30 and don't grant it to every SAP user. And to have a really nice workaround, you can create a so-called parameter transaction to this. And you can do this in the SE93 transaction code because here basically you maintain the transaction codes. And for our case, for example, we enter set ear P underscore up. So here then we enter the transaction code starting with set or your company namespace. And this is the transaction code you enter in the command field that you directly enter uh, and open up the maintenance view of your table. And then you click on create. So here you can add a little short description. So for example, uh, maintenance view of set ERP underscore up, whatever you like to. And now it's important that you select transaction with parameter. So a parameter transaction, then you confirm here within a transaction, you open up the SM30 transaction and skip the initial screen. That's important. Then you can also, if you want to inherit degree attributes, that's perfectly fine. And here you can enter your screen fields. And to explain you this, I will open up the SM30, what we're now gonna do. So here um, within the SM30, if you hit the F1 help within the table, then you have the possibility within here to open up the technical information. And here you can see the field description for batch input, so your screen field. So here, this is the ID of your input field. And here within the default values, we pre-fill, we are using values within this screen field. So this is what we're gonna need. So here copy it and then paste it in. Then within the value, know it's important that you directly enter your table as you would enter within the SM30 transaction. So as you would enter within here, um, so set ERP underscore up. Then it's important that you decide whether you would like to open up the maintenance view in the display mode or within the edit mode. If you would like to open it up into the edit mode, you simply type in update and then with an X. If you would like to open it up within the display mode, then you enter show with an X. I would like to directly open up it within the uh, edit mode. So I type in update. Be uh, sure that you don't do any typo. That's important. Um, you have don't have an, any search help here right now. And then basically you can save it. Here, if you want to, you can specify a package. In my case, I just would like to add it to my $TMP package, so a local object. I don't uh, transport the transaction into the quality, into the productive system. If you want, 
would like to do this and that's i think the, what you do because you need it within the productive system in mo most cases here you enter a package then you enter a uh, transport that you can transport your changes into the quality and into the productive system so as mentioned local object then we have saved it and within here test you can directly see that i open up the sm30 transaction um, indirectly so here i can open up set erp underscore up to do exactly the same um, to go into the start menu to show you this set erp underscore up open directly the sm30 without having authorization to the SM30. Now let's switch to the data browser, to the SE16. So if we open up the SE16, you can also do it with the SE16. And here, for example, with the SE16, you can enter a table. So for example, uh, echo for having the purchase order. So echo, then hit the enter, here you can, um, yeah, for example, display all the purchase orders, for example, created by me, then execute the selection, then here you have all your results. And there are also good reasons that you shouldn't grant access to the data browser, to the SE16, to the SE16N, and to the SE16H to every SAP user, because if those SAP users know the SAP tables, then they can see what's happening in the SAP system, and there's a huge potential risk so and you should prevent this risk by not granting the data browser transaction code to every sap user but you can do a little workaround and now once again by creating an own transaction a parameter transaction to the data browser so let's open up once again the se93 transaction code here right now um, let's do it for example with uh, echo um, so hit you enter your transaction code that you need here you can um, and mike has just set echo then click on create once again and um, for example se16 uh, for table echo what you like to and now once again and select transaction with parameters a parameter transaction so then confirm this here within the transaction you enter your se16 skip initial screen that's important if you want you can inherit the gui attributes and once again within another window let's open up the se16 then here hit the f1 help then technical information here you can see one once again your screen field let's copy this uh, this and here you can enter your table in this case echo then save it into my local object and now we can test this um, by either typing set echo within a command field or within the se93 to test and then you can see directly the selection criteria and yeah, execute the selection and see the results of this specific table and not in general to the data browser having access to every table, to every table entries, that's important. What happens if we're doing exactly the same for the SE16N transaction? Um, there will be one issue and I have also a solution for this. As mentioned, first of all, let's open up the SE93 once again, type in your transaction code, click on create, enter one small description, select parameter transaction, type in your transaction code SE16N, skip initial screen, inherit GUI attributes and enter your screen field. To get this, once again, open up the SE16N. Uh, within the input field table, hit the F1 help, technical information, and here it's the screen field GD minus top, as I've shown you in a couple of seconds ago. So this is what we need. Then let's go in the SE93 once again, enter this and enter your needed table. So for example, echo, and then hit the enter key. First of all, we're getting this warning. The field GD minus tab does not exist in the cold screen. Okay, kind of like interesting, um, curious, but it is what it is. It's just a warning. We can confirm hitting the entry key. Then we save it, local object, and then we test this. 
And now, yeah, great, we've opened up the SE16N with this table echo, but there is still a potential risk because I can change the enter table, for example, to USR02 to get access to the logon data. I can change it to another table, BKPF, whatever, to get also information to some sensitive data like invoices, like SAP FI documents that I maybe should not see and should not get access to. And how can you guarantee that you just get access to the data browser SE16N to one specific table there we have to use one function module and we have to create one report, one own report to call this function module and we can input and we can use the created report within one transaction. Okay, a little bit more steps to do than we saw for the SE16. So if you would like to just get active get the grant the users access to one table i recommend that you use the ac16 but if you would like to use ac16n then you can also do these steps so first of all we go into the abap editor the se38 then within here for example set se16n echo for example that's our program name we click on create call SE16N with table echo should be our title, type should be executable program, then click on save. Once again, if you would like to transport it, enter one package, enter and add it to a transport, but I would like to just for demo purposes add it to my demo TMP, a dollar TMP package to my local object. So then within here, we have to call basically just a function module. So therefore I click on pattern, call function, and it's SE16N interface. Then hit the enter key. Then the pattern was inserted. So a lot of code generated. And here basically within I underscore top, you enter your table name. In our case, it's echo. You have a lot more parameters to, to pass if you would like to, but for this little uh, purpose, we just need I underscore top. So that's perfectly fine. You can also call the SE16N in the edit mode. Um, yeah. So if you want to play a little bit around, I'm saving it, I'm uh, activating it, and now I can test it. So I'm directly processing. And here perfectly, we're just getting our um, SE16N results for this table for Echo. And now what we have to do, because we have successfully activated our report, we include this report in a transaction. So open up the SE93 transaction code. Um, now we can um, yeah, enter a set echo three, for example, create it. Um, now it should work. And here you enter a program and selection screen. So we need a report transaction. That's perfectly fine. We would like to call this program and then we can save it, local object, and can, we can directly test this. Boom, now it's working fine. You just have access to the SE16N with the results. You can't change the table within here. So this is a nice and yeah, a couple of steps needed, but I think also an easy way how you can do this. So, and yeah, by said this, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.